right before spring break. So we're trying to talk about how, how was the spring, spring that day or spring, how, how was it in general for you guys? Yeah, you know, we, we uh, decided to, to do spring ball a little bit earlier this year. Um, and most of the coaches and players are calling it winter ball. Uh, we started February 21st, um, and, and to be honest with you, it went fantastic. Um, we uh, had great weather pretty much the entire time. We only had one practice that had snow on the ground. and um, I thought from practice one through practice 15, our guys got a, a lot better. And uh, to see how far we've come in a year, it's, it's a pretty so exciting feeling leaving spring ball and uh, knowing we got still four months of work still ahead of us, but excited about the direction of our team. You guys had a couple, um, you guys in your spring ball with, with, with the scrimmage off campus that was Texas. What did you learn about your team watching film from that scrimmage? And from all your scrimmages in the fall, yeah. the spring, what did you, what, what did you learn about your team? Yeah, that's a great question. I think first off, I think the thing that um, has to go noticed is the fact that we are a part of a university that allows our team to go and do something like that. You know, that leaving your um, your city and, and getting buses and traveling, and especially when it was not a planned expense, there's not a lot of colleges at our level that have the resources to be able to do that. And so for Dr. P to allow us to, to go out to, to Canyon in West Texas and, and uh, play those guys and scrimmage those guys was, it was extremely beneficial. And I think, um, I only know of two other teams that are scrimmaging, you know, and this is the first time that you're able to do that in the spring. And, and I think for us, it was huge to be able to see specifically our young guys, how they respond going against another opponent, right. And, and a quality opponent in, in West Texas. And so we got to see them compete. We got to see them make mistakes. We got to see them learn and grow and we didn't have to wait till game one next year to do that. And so it was extremely beneficial. It was extremely beneficial for our new guys to, to be able to see that I've never traveled with us, what that looks like, how we travel, how we conduct ourselves on the road. Um, and, and so I, I, can't, I can't thank our administration enough to, for allowing us to go down there because I think we, we learned a lot about our team against a really quality opponent. What are some, what are some things that stood out to you about your team that maybe you, you, you go into the spring with some question marks and you come out, you answer those question marks. What, what, what did you learn and what some question marks you might have had yeah. that you learned about your team going into the offseason? I, I think um, – I think we've done a really good job at recruiting our skill right now. I think our, our offensive and defensive skill on both sides are, are playing at a pretty elite level. You know, you, you look at our outside receivers right now, those guys uh, are making contested catches. There's no such thing as a 50-50 ball. And it, they, they are going, going up and coming down with the football consistently. And that, that has been huge for our offense to be able to uh, be explosive and stretch people vertically. I think the thing that allowed them to be able to continue to make plays consistently is the quality of opponents that we're going up against every single day. You know, I, I don't know. We might have one of the most talented defensive back groups uh, at, at, in our MAC, and I'm really excited about those guys and what they bring to the table. You know, Daniel Bone obviously heading up uh, the defensive side and, and his leadership and his the way he practices the way he approaches everything, it's, it's, it's really special. And we got some additions in the secondary that have helped elevate his game as well. And so that, that was very encouraging. Um, the offensive and defensive line were also very encouraging. You know, we're very young, still up front on the offensive line. Uh, we got a new offensive line coach and Coach Natkin. And so there's always going to be a little bit of um, a learning curve when you're bringing in a new coach and new verbiage and, and new new schemes and things of that nature. But I thought those guys did a really good job of, of leaning into his coaching and, and what he's preaching. And uh, they got better and better and better as the spring went on. Defensive line wise, I think, you know, it's a veteran group now. You know, we've got we've got some guys that have played a lot of football there. And, and we had, again, some new some new additions to that room that I definitely think help elevate and push that group to, to be great. And so excited about those guys. Um, our linebacker position is, is young. Again, uh, we, we, we had a lot of really young, true freshmen, redshirt freshmen, sophomores that got a ton of reps this spring. And so it was really exciting to see those guys continue to grow and get better. Um, and so really excited, really, about a, a lot of our position groups, you know, and, and where we're headed. What about um, offensively? You know, you obviously you, they return quite a bit of guys. You talk about your receivers. Your running backs all kind of come back from last year. Quarterback is there. Obviously, yeah, that you lost really a quarterback and got some guys in the room. Four or five guys, you got a couple guys that come in. So how how has that battle been going in the spring with the quarterback and the running back positions? Obviously? 
Yeah, I think the you know the quarterback position is still it's still an open competition right now. Um, I think you know as the spring went on, you saw guys get more and more comfortable, um, and and more comfortable with the scheme, more comfortable with their decision making, more comfortable with with how we operate offensively, and so it, it's going to be an exciting summer to see these guys in fall camp to see how these guys continue to progress. You know, we've got three guys in that room right now that we feel really good about, and then we've got another one that's going to be coming in June 1st, you know, that uh, Division One transfer, and we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, the best player is going to play, and um, you know, from our last year's team, we lost our, our left guard and our quarterback, and everybody else is coming back. And so it's exciting, especially when, you, you know, you were top 10 in the country in scoring last year. And so hopefully we can continue to, to take the next step offensively, and there, there's no room for complacency, I'll tell you that much. And so these guys are hungry, and they're working hard. So it's, it's going to be fun to see how that, how that plays out. The, the hard thing about the quarterback position is only one guy plays. You know, and so um, we're going to put our team in the best position to, to win football games. What do you guys do from this point forward now? Spring's done. The kids still work out till school gets out. What is kind of the plan? What, what is the plan for the summer for the kids and all that stuff? Yeah, so we we, we started uh, we started workouts yesterday, last night actually, um, and so we are going to have essentially four weeks of hard training. We're going to do some hy hypertrophy training, uh, getting big and, and fast and as, as much as we possibly can. They're going to have about uh, two weeks in, in May that they're going to be able to go home and, and work out on their own. And then June 1st, we're rocking and rolling. And last year in June 1st, we had 91 players on campus. And, and I'm, ho I'm hoping that we have more than that this June 1st. And, and that's what we've kind of been preaching to these guys. You know, we, if we want to accomplish something different than what we did last year, then we've got to work harder than we did last year. And so we're going to be working it uh, five days a week every single day, uh, Monday through Friday, and coaches will be out there and in the weight room and pushing our guys to be great. Um, what, um, for, for, you, for yourself and your coaching staff, obviously last year you came in, last spring was your guys' first year, all new, now you guys have, have had a year under your belt. So what did you kind of learn last spring and last summer going into the fall with a bunch of teams with this? How was this spring different than it was last year? I guess, for you? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously when you're new, uh, there's a little bit of a, you know, guys are kind of filling each other out, right? Like coaches are filling each other out. How, how do we mesh? How do we interact? We're filling out the players. The players are filling us out. And, and uh, you, you don't really know how to respond, right? And, and this year, it's we know. Like we know our culture. We know our systems. We know uh, pretty much our coaches stayed exactly the same, which is a huge benefit to our, to our, our players. And, and so it's really just about continuing to grow in our knowledge of our scheme. Offense, defense, and special teams, and so when you have when you have consistency in those three areas, uh, you know you, you're able to build on what you were able to do in the fall, and and so we're we're a, we're a leaps and bounds ahead of where we were last year at this point, you know, from a schematic knowledge and, and operation and culture and all those things from where we were and trying to fi figure each other out to to where we are right now. Thank you very much for your time. Yep. Appreciate that. Yep.